What's up guys, back here again uh, with another uh, video. Um, went into my local PetSmart and um, let's see, was was really surprised and uh, I must admit excited. I, I don't know if, um, you know, my feedback about those smaller plastic, plastic tanks uh, is maybe starting to get around a little bit, but um, I've been seeing a lot more smaller glass tanks, which again, I, you know, I'm really, really excited about. Um, there are two of them that I saw uh, yesterday. I went back today and picked up this one. Um, the smaller one I have to, uh, I can't think of the name right now, but it's a three gallon tank. It looks a little similar to like the five five gallon fluval spec um it's not as you know i i, I wouldn't say it's the same quality but as far as the form factor it, it kind of reminds me of that uh anyway um this is the one i picked up the five gallon uh top fin engage um and again when i saw it i kind of uh you know kind of jumped all over it there was one on the shelf uh retails for about 60 bucks um but uh the cashier um I sent a special shout out to him he gave me like a 20 percent off coupon plus i had uh some of those uh pet perks um so i think all in all i think i only paid about maybe 45 dollars for it so i uh, couldn't pass that up uh brought it home just kind of want to do um you know one of my normal unboxings take it apart uh, I'm sorry, not take it apart, but uh, unbox it, look at all the contents, um, and maybe even put some water and turn the lights on. So, um, hang tight. We'll get this thing open. One thing that I do want to do is, is kind of show you the back of the box and the contents. And you see up here this hydro change technology. I guess they found a way to make water changes easier. Um, I don't know how effective that is. You know, I was more excited about the actual tank itself than this kind of hydro change technology, I guess. Um, the pump is connected to a nozzle that either, or I guess the, the outtake, which is this right here, um, you can turn and either, you know, have the water go into a, uh, a dish like this to do the water change and then fill it back up. I'm, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll, we'll take a look at that, but you get a glass. There's a white background, white lid, LED lights. I don't think there's any, a uh, nighttime or blue LED light setting, uh, but we'll take a look at that. So let's get this thing open and uh, see what it looks like. Yeah, I paid uh, 46 bucks for it. try and do this as easy as I can. There's your styrofoam. So I'll get everything out and we'll take a look at it. Here's a look at the tank itself. Hang on one second. Alright guys, that was that was a little more challenging than I had uh, expected. But here's a look at the tank. Um, again, I'm really fired up um, about just the way the tank looks. This is all glass. Um, there's a plastic, you know, barrier here, I guess, for the filtration. And the bottom itself is plastic, which I'm not too concerned with that. I, you know, I, I won't be putting anything too, too heavy in here. Um, but that's a look at the tank right there. Um, here's a look at the lid. Just, uh, you know, you're playing kind of standard lid. You do have a little feeding hole right there uh, to feed the fish. Uh, what else does this come with? This comes with uh, this, I would imagine, is your power cord for the light. Yes, it is. And yeah, there's just one setting, so it's just probably just the white lights. See that. Uh, there is an instruction manual, but I'm stubborn, so I never read those. But let's just kind of get into this, this, this filtration or whatever this new design uh, filtration is. This um, hydro changing or hydro 
yeah, hydro change uh, filtration. So essentially this is the front of the tank. Um, I don't know if you can see down in here, but you know the water will come in here and then the pumps down there and it'll go through this filter right here. I probably won't use this. I'll probably honestly stick a sponge um, down in here or even a bigger sponge in here. There's there's a lot of space in here for a heater and even other sponges which I'll probably take advantage of. But So water gets sucked in through the pump and it fills up this little chamber right here which overflows into the water so dirty water excuse me dirty water comes in here gets sucked up and then comes out here but this little thing right here turns so essentially it's going to be sucking out water and you can attach you know a bucket or something right here to drain the water and then pour in water again I don't know how effective uh, this is this really isn't the main reason I bought the tank um, you know, um, here's kind of a look at the inside so you can kind of get a better idea how this will work. Um, my main reason for buying the tank was it's another cool, smaller glass tank. Uh, you guys have heard me talk about the benefits and I guess the, um, why it's cool about having smaller tanks because, you know, um, you can... You know they're not that hard to set up they're not that hard to move around um, pretty easy to maintain um, so I'm really excited about this and um, you know now I think I want to put some water in it and uh, see what it looks like so hang tight actually before I fill it up here's the uh, I took a picture of that other tank um, the top fin indulge which is a three gallon tank um, it is uh, an all-glass tank. Like I said, it kind of reminds me of the uh, the way the Fluval uh, Spec 5 is set up. Uh, I took a look at it. And it, it it's a nice tank, um, but I think just between the two, I wanted to go bigger. And again, you know, the discount that I got on it, you know, I, I really couldn't pass that up. But uh, be on the lookout for this one. This also has uh, that hydro change filter up there. Excuse me. There we go. Um, so be on the lookout for that, and and hopefully. You know, top fin, we'll, we'll keep putting out these, uh, these smaller glass tanks. Alright guys, so I got, uh, got some water in the tank. And I don't have the lid on here with the lights just yet, just because I guess I want to highlight um, this hydro change uh, filtration. So essentially, your water is going down. Uh, there's an intake there, then there's an intake up here. So your water is going down and again you know there's a, a ton of space in here for a heater or even additional sponges but uh, the water is getting sucked in through here and coming back out this little outtake right here which you know now that I'm looking at it, it actually looks pretty cool um, and I guess the the thing you can do is that if you imagine you wanted to do here I'll take a pot I guess uh, do a water change you would just lift this up and I guess without trying to make a mess I guess now you're now you're doing your water change so I guess that's kind of cool I, again I don't, I don't know how effective that will be <laughs> um, but you know I definitely get the, the concept behind it um, you know one thing I like is you know you can have you know your flow coming out here or if you want a little more surface agitation you can have your flow coming out there so you know I guess only time will tell um, you know we'll, we'll see how effective that is but just this is just a, a look uh, at the tank with some water now let me plug the lights in and we'll see uh, how bright the lights are Alright, so I turned the lights off in the kitchen. Let's turn the lights on. And it's a typical top fin, um, you know, power cord and switch. Again, there is, wow, there is, boy, that's pretty bright. My phone may not do this any justice. And again, you know, the background is, is white, the bottom's white, but that does look pretty bright. Um, 
And you know what? At first, I wasn't crazy about Xunder had an all-white tank, and at first, I wasn't that crazy about it. But this is actually growing on me pretty, uh, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's really starting to grow on me huh? as I'm sitting here thinking about it and just trying to get some ideas of, of what I might put in here. But I never had all-white tank, and, and I'm really kind of liking the way this looks. Um, lights are pretty bright. Um, you can see the lights there. Um, I'm, I'm certain what we should be able to get, you know, easy to moderate, you know, plants in there, some Anubias, Java ferns, anything like that if I decide to do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, so far, I'm pretty impressed with this little tank. Um, you know, uh, I'm definitely excited that the top fin is, um, you know, putting out more of these smaller glass tanks. Uh, I guess only time will tell uh, what they'll do next. But, um, you know, definitely something to be excited about. Um, other than that, guys, let me know what you think about the tank. Uh, any questions or comments, leave them down below. As always, I'll talk to you guys down the road. Bye.